I think we should be all shouting and cheering to the heavens. Let's join the community of cosmic life if there's anything out there. I think it's probably not the best idea. I think that transmission should only happen as the result of consensus. And after there's been a discussion about whether we should, but not only that, if we decide to, then who should speak for Earth and, and what should they say? There is a slightly reckless edge to this because you have to think about, suppose we received a message like this. The message itself may be friendly, full of information, you know, a request for communication, but it would be incredibly disruptive for us <laughs> to receive this as a, as a species, as a civilization. The truth is we don't know whether, is this very risky? We don't know. does no good as they have done to transmit for 33 minutes and not again because it means that the receiver is going to have to be looking at you at us at exactly the right time in exactly the right way during those 33 minutes when the signal goes on past to me it seems like this is a strategy with a very limited ability to succeed i certainly do agree with jill the odds that you know, the alien civilization is listening in at just the right moment when a 33-minute signal wafts by is somewhat unlikely unless they have a dedicated system that's scanning the heavens and looking for signs of life out there. The odds of a relatively nearby star to us hosting a civilization capable of detecting this message, but a civilization that we have not heard from ourselves, it seems like those odds are a bit of a stretch. It's one star out of 200 billion stars in our galaxy. So one does question the odds of that one being a good one. Even with reasonable concerns raised by people saying, well, is it sensible to announce our existence here? I think the flip side to that would be to say any civilization capable of receiving a signal, capable of doing anything about it, of actually deciding to come and, you know, come and eat us all, you know, that level of sophistication, those civilizations would already know that we exist. If they're going to be able to get here, then they are, in fact, by definition, significantly more technologically advanced than we are on Earth today. They also might have figured out a way to manage their planet and their civilization sustainably for a long period. That seems to me that aggression is not likely to be their main characteristic in that case. It's just too unlikely a scenario to concern ourselves with. We need to be bold, we need to be strong, we need to be visionary, and those qualities have defined the best of us across millennia, and we need to allow those qualities to define the best of us going to the future. What I'm hoping is that this will cause more discussion. I'd like to hear what the rest of the world has to say.